this is my uh, reluctant ring setup. There's a sensor, the reluctant ring, reluctant ring is spinning. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many RPM this is. And the sensor is right on it. And despite all of that, I'm not getting any signal. I don't know if uh, my uh, electronic control module has gone out or um, exactly why this isn't working. If it needs more than just the uh, crankshaft the position sensor to uh, give me uh, any kind of data, I'm not sure. I'm just not, not getting anything. Okay, this is inside the dash. You can see the uh, reluctant wheel turning out there. The sensor is in place. I'm going to turn this on. Everything comes on and no RPM. Even hit the start, nothing happens. So, I'm kind of at an impasse. I'll have to think about this for a while. I may have to uh, have the crankshaft input, uh, not just, I'm sorry, the camshaft input, but not the, just the uh, crankshaft input. Well, I've had to modify my sports just a little bit. It's probably hard to tell, but I've taken off about four inches off the back side of this one, and I've shortened this one considerably on both ends. But it's to make it so that the uh, support plate will fit down in here a lot easier and uh, so I can get it in and out and work on it. I have it all disassembled right now and I'm painting the support pieces. The only other thing I've done is I've cut off all the uh, edges here and painted these supports, the struts that I have, so it looks just a little bit neater. <clears throat> See I still have the uh, reservoir there and the uh, small radiator down below and the hood will actually shut down now I can bring it down it will close nothing hits I have all my components sitting over here waiting to be used I've tested everything everything seems to be in good working order and I'll show you uh, maybe kind of dark over here I've got the garage shut the weather's been kind of bad lately dark to see this well but this is the uh, half inch PVC plate I've painted it black um, this is going to be the high voltage box my reservoir is going to be behind the uh, PVC and the low voltage boxes here they're all bolted on and uh, I will show you how it all assembles all right I've done a little work on the um, HHR here and this is where all of my components are going to come together the electronic boards are here all the fuses and relays if you look at this first plastic box right here what you see is two shunts this is a shunt that goes to the ammeter uh, this is a shunt that goes to the expert pro you'll have fuses in here uh, so that my ammeter and the voltmeter are um, fused Got fuses here for the main contactor, fuses here for the um, DC to DC converter. This is the main contactor. I've got uh, some of these things in wiring looms already. I have uh, it all set up so I can take each component off individually. They will all separate so I can remove this box or whatever component I'm working on. Got the uh, pump for the fluid for the Zilla right here it is wired in this is my vacuum switch once again it's wired in uh, this is actually the uh, vacuum pump back here and the uh, vacuum gauge over here is a set of wires that are going to deal with the uh, expert pro uh, so that it's fused and it's fused right in here also we've got uh, a set of fuses that go to the uh, lights are going to tell me if I have a problem with the uh, engine. Uh, there's a, uh, let's see, where's it say, check engine light right there. And then the, another fuse light out is a battery light when I've got an issue with the battery that the Azilla will be able to uh, tell us. I've got a uh, 
fusebox here that will be for my uh, 12 volt power. I believe this one's the one that's uh, always no, this is key on, and this is always on on the bottom. And uh, this is the uh, AC uh, detection uh, relay, so that if it's plugged in, it detects 120 volts uh, through one line. Uh, it will uh, set off the relay and turn the uh, uh, Zill off so the controller cannot be turned on. And uh, obviously this is the DC to DC converter and it's uh, hooked in so that, uh, as I mentioned before, it's actually powered out of this. It's uh, getting its negative supply from uh, this end of the um, amp meter and it's uh, positive uh, will come off of uh, the positive lead coming to um, uh, right here, I believe, is where it's going to end up being. So these are all done. So once again, I can pull these connectors out. They just they slip right out. There's a connector here that will come out, and I've got another connector that's going to go in down here. I don't know how well that's going to video. And these will separate out. So all these wires will come off. The uh, wires will all end up coming through a small hole in the dash that's right up under there. You can see some wires kind of coming out of it right now. And I'll have a whole series going through that uh, hole. There's a rubber gasket there. This is one of my connectors. There's another smaller connector. And that's where we are so far. I've had kind of a delay in working on this for the past two months, but I'm going to try to get back on this and get a few more videos out to you. I still haven't solved the problem with the uh, power steering yet. Still trying to get the uh, computer to come on and recognize the signal from my uh, reluctor wheel that's uh, emulating or spoofing the um, crankshaft uh, uh, output. And uh, I'll see if I can get that going. If anybody has any ideas, please let me know. This is the uh, dash glove box for the uh, Chevy HHR and this is what I've done with it so far. I'll reach in here and push this. Put my gauges in here. I have the Expert Pro in the center, an amp meter, and a voltmeter. And I've kind of made just a little uh, PVC thing to hold it together. And I'll show how I try to show how I disassemble this. This piece comes out, and this one will be velcroed in so it won't rattle around. And then these two screws come out right here, and the whole thing lifts up out. This compartment will actually just sit down into the dash, and there's a place on this side right over here where the wires can come out over here and. Uh, go straight down through the dash. I shouldn't have any problem with that. I'm actually going to put uh, two additional little indicator lights here, one for the uh, check engine and one for the uh, battery right here. It'll be two little LED lights. But other than that, I'm pretty much so done with this. I'm going to paint it after I disassemble it. And here it is disassembled on the bench. See, I've put one of the little LED lights in. Still have a hole here for the other one. We'll assemble that later. This is uh, the back side of it. Place for all my uh, connections. And here's what it looks like when I've got all the wires pulled through. You can see they come through this little opening right here. And I've got everything set up for um, the amp meter, voltmeter. Um, the Expert Pro, the light for the battery, the light for the uh, motor, and uh, we're going to end up putting a, uh, a a valet mode switch up here, and uh, I do have the wire coming through from the uh, dimmer switch right here, so that uh, the lights on the um, amp meter and voltmeter will uh, work, and we'll. Um, be able to be dimmed in conjunction with the uh, remainder of the dash.